Hello there, welcome to my channel. Hello YouTubers, let me show you the Puerto Rican version of fried bread. An arepa is a fried bread, crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. You can eat it plain, you can stuff it, or with some toppings. Let me show you where we are right now. We are at Las Arepas de Reyes Food Truck at Puerto Rico 100, kilometer 14 in Boguerón, Cabo Rojo, Puerto Rico. If you're familiar with Mexican, Venezuelan, and Colombian arepas, you will notice that Puerto Rican arepas are different. First of all, the ones found throughout South America are cornmeal based, but Puerto Rican arepas, also called domplines in the Dominican Republic and the southern part of Puerto Rico, are flour based. The arepa dough then is rolled and then deep fried. So I do my own version of arepas or fried bread in my house, um, but I've been coming to this place for the last two years a year and a half. Um, I have, it's pretty close to my beach house, Herbert's place. And they really have a really good arepas for fried bread. And I ordered a couple of them right now. I'm waiting for them to be cooked. Um, my wife ordered some stuff at one. I like mine plain and I eat, eat my arepas or my fried bread just with milk. Las Arepas de Reyes food truck have a unique menu where he stuffed them with Puerto Rican comfort food. Check their menu. It's very diverse and he told me in a small interview to follow this that if you don't see it on the menu, he will customize your arepa with whatever he has available for your unique culinary experience. Hello YouTube, I'm here with Reyes, the owners of Arepas de Reyes. Hello beautiful people. <laughs> tell, me, tell me something about your arepas. What makes them so special? Yeah? The arepas I made, uh, you told me that they can maybe know it by Navajo fried bread. Yeah, Navajo fried bread in the United States, in Puerto Rico is arepa, and in Puerto made with Rico, flour. Arepa, yeah, also with, with flour. And it, the arepas is traditional from the east side of Puerto Rico, where I'm from. Uh, no, 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 my family from Vieques. My family are from Fajardo. Fajardo is close. It's same, 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 same. Yeah. Same no, the, one, no one that you love the arepas. So much. The arepas I mean, are from the east side. Uh, I'm the first one bringing the arepas to the west side of Puerto Rico. So I made my own recipe. Uh -huh. I, I make a mix uh, between the regular arepa uh -huh. and the coconut arepa. Right. I make uh, like a mix of uh -huh. it. So I have just one, but you can like taste both of the flavors uh, in just one arepa. No wonder, no wonder. Because <laughs> the, 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 the first time that I, that I, I stopped here and tasted it, it was like, Oh my god, this tastes like my grandma's mother arepa. <laughs> now he told me he's from the east coast of the island. My mom is from the east coast from Vieques. That she taught me how to do arepas. That's why I love it there so much. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what I maybe was the love when I, when I made the arepa. Uh -huh. But every people that came say something beautiful about the arepa. Yeah. And I'm so glad of it. I don't know, the flavor, the taste is so good that you don't you don't need just one, you need more than one. The people that okay. came to Puerto Rico from vacation say, man, I just figured out this the first day, so I can came more than one. <laughs> so when you came to Puerto Rico, when you came to the west side of the island, you need to come maybe the first, the second day, because maybe you later, later you feel bad if you don't have right. the chance to take more. And you come to Cabo Rojo, to the west side of the island, to the southwest of the island, He's located, where you're located, where you are right now, where we are. We're, we are in PR 100 in the 14 kilometer. There you go, close. And I'm going to show you exactly with my videos where is the truck, the food truck yeah. is way also, the from, this, from the road. Mm -hmm. Also, if you go on Google Maps, mm -hmm. you will get here directly. Perfect, perfect. Google Maps is uh, very correct, the, very the location, yeah, and, awesome. and you can come here. You can see all the photos on our Facebook page, Instagram, or also in, in the Google Maps. We have the arepas just plain. Uh -huh. We have it with cheese. You can combine cheese and bacon. I have the pizza one, the arepa cheese dough. We put a, oh my gosh. We put a hot dog with a cheese uh -huh. inside of the arepa. Uh -huh. It's delicious. Uh, we have the chicken, the ground beef. We have the pork. We have the tripleta, the triple meat wow. stuff. It's chicken ground beef uh -huh. and bacon with our mayo ketchup sauce mm -hmm. delicious everybody is talking a lot wow, wow. about that mix. you know what i, I, saw, I have I the, the menu there yeah the menu. that if you don't like what you see you can make your own combination okay? of so course there's no course. limit here you know it's a he's a, he's a chef he's creative he's, he's having his own recipe and he's got a way to do it but if you have a different way just just ask him and he will yeah. and he will do it i'm not the only one creative I have a lot of clients that came uh -huh. from other parts yeah. and they mix pork with octopus with uh -huh. shrimp 
It's a great combination whoa, whoa, for whoa. them. Maybe I don't like it, that, but that, they that, like that, it. That's our story, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, they, it, have it, you know. they, they call, um, uh, they, they, there's a name for that combination that is uh, meat and, and seafood. I, I don't remember the name now, you can yeah, put it. Yeah, 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 see, but it's uh, Mari Tierra. Like, Mari Tierra, Tierra, but they, they call a name. Yeah, I have, yeah, a, I have yeah. it right down. Oh, yeah, yeah, surf and turf. Surf and turf, look at it, look at it. Yeah, 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 surf and turf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mari surf Tierra is in Spanish. If you come here, you want some surf and turf, you can tell Mr. Raya here. Of course. That he can make that. You can mix food. maybe octopus shrimp with chicken or maybe with pork with octopus. You can make your own mix. I. There's the arepa and you with the arepa do whatever you want. Thank you so much, man. Thank I you. can't wait to get my order. Thank you to my wife. And I'm gonna. I, I like to eat them plain with milk. That's how my grandma. Milk. With wow. Milk. How my grandma taught me. Just plain it, with there's milk. There's a lot of people that like with coffee. Coffee. Yeah, yeah. She I did the coffee part, <laughs> but I was so young. She didn't give me no coffee. But yeah, no now. coffee, just milk. Hey, just just watch. Uh, I'm gonna put the link. It's his link of his YouTube channel, his Facebook account in, the, in my YouTube channel. Just come here, talk to him. If not here, just order. Make your own recipe. I grabbed my order and headed to Herbert's place. I ordered some plain ones and a tripleta stuffed arepa. Let's see how it tastes. This is the first time for me. People, I just came from Arepas de Reyes. It's fried bread and this one is stuffed with tripleta meat. And tripleta meat means ham, uh, roasted pork, and steak with some mayo ketchup. You know about your mayo ketchup. You don't know how to use mayo ketchup. In my other videos, I'll show you how to do it. And it smells delicious. I'm gonna give it a bite. Oh my god. You got the sweet flavor of the fried bread or Navajo bread. That's what we call it. We call it arepa here in Puerto Rico. And then the salty combination of the pork, the steak, and the ham with the mayo ketchup. I mean, it's amazing. Mm. Oh wow. Can you come to Cabo Rojo? You need to visit Arepa de Reyes. The guy knows what he's doing. Thanks for watching and buen provecho. It's going to be a pleasure receiving you guys. <laughs>